I've been scouring the internet to try and find the best opportunities in Bitcoin runes. I've been looking at discords. I've been looking at Twitter. I've been getting involved with all of these different projects. And what I have found will surprise you. Let's talk about it. Black Box Trading. I am your host, JT, and here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis. We also have a free Bitcoin trading Discord server. So if you are interested, scan the QR code that's popping up on the screen right now, or you can follow the links down below. All right, we got to talk about runes. So for those who don't know, runes is a new protocol for the Bitcoin network that is going to allow for token creation on Bitcoin. We have already seen certain iterations of this with the BRC20 tokens, we've seen stamps. There actually has been numerous attempts to solve this problem, but they have their limitations and they have their drawbacks and runes plans to fix all of those limitations. So unsurprisingly, the market is extremely excited and hyped for rune tokens to go live on block 840,000, which is the Bitcoin halving. But how do you choose? How do you find value? I've been asking myself this question for months. I've been digging deep and here is what I've come to the conclusion of. Everywhere you look now, if you are in the ordinal space, if you are in the Bitcoin space, everywhere you look, everybody is talking about runes. We have large uh, NFT influencers like Beeple that just dropped one of his dailies talking about a new landscape for the runes protocol. We have individual projects like RSIC that recently rallied to a pre-market valuation of $6 billion on whale market. That's 38 cents per runes. We also have a whole new dedicated section in Magic Eden called pre-runes. And every single one of these projects has been rallying. So how do you find the value? And this is where you might not agree with my analysis. My analysis has led me to believe that runes are overhyped. I feel as though they are overhyped, and as a result, pretty much everything that carries the rune's name is overvalued. With all of this pent-up energy going towards runes and the excitement and anticipation of the Bitcoin having to allow this protocol to go live, to me, it's not surprising that we're seeing these valuations get so out of hand and over the top. Here's a tweet by Leonidas that I actually really agree with. He is predicting that we're gonna see 5,000 sats per V-byte uh, minimum to get into block 840,000. Uh, to put that into perspective, currently the mempool is sitting at 51 for a high priority transaction. We're talking about 5,000. That is going to be extremely, extremely expensive. We're going to see transaction fees get into the hundreds, maybe even the thousands of dollars per transaction at the halving block. He also predicts that we're going to see 100,000 runes etched within 14 days after the halving. I also agree with that. And that is absolutely insane. That is wild bonkers crazy. To put that into perspective, when we go over to CoinGecko, there's currently only 13,840 coins listed. That means there's going to be 10 times more cryptocurrencies. This is not good. This is not healthy. This is not sustainable. He also predicts that a dog meme coin will hit a $2 billion market cap 30 days after. I think it might even happen sooner than that. And the problem with that is when you get these projects that have huge valuations, you get a lot of whales selling into the hype. Now, I know what you're thinking. If everybody's so excited about runes, why on earth would the prices drop? If everybody's excited and they want to buy things, how could that result in a price drop? And it goes back to market psychology and the way humans behave when they're sitting on large profits. The technical savvy players in the game are going to get these assets first. A lot of coin creators are going to get these assets first, and they're going to be selling into the market. The whole market is going to be very oversaturated. And when this happens, the prices can't go up. So what I'm doing, what I've decided after all of this research and analyzing the charts and analyzing market sentiment, what I've decided is the best course of action is to actually do nothing. But when I say nothing, I also want to make it clear that I'm going to be receiving airdrops. 
I have a couple of these RuneX unnamed NFTs. Those are gonna entitle me to an airdrop. I also have multiple rune stones. Those are also going to entitle me to an airdrop. And although I don't own any R6, these are also going to result in an airdrop. So nothing on the channel here should be considered financial advice. And, and you gotta do your own research and you gotta make your own decisions. But for me, I've seen this type of sentiment play out time and time again. I've been involved in the space for, for over eight years. And I can tell you that based off of historical events that I have seen, I expect that the rune expectation is not going to match the reality. And because humans are inherently impatient creatures and are also very scared when it comes to drawdowns in price, I expect there to be a lot of volatility and probably to the downside when runes do go live. I would happily be wrong on this uh, assessment, but I think in the short term, in the first month of runes, you gotta be very, very careful as to what you choose and what you invest in. Now, I also wanna clear the air a little bit, okay? I wanna make my stance entirely clear. I'm only speaking about the short term. In my opinion, runes are a game changer. They are going to completely change the landscape of Bitcoin, and they are going to allow for a lot of functionality that was previously only reserved for smart contract platforms like Ethereum and Solana and others, um, and it's going to bring that functionality to Bitcoin. So don't get me wrong. These are huge. They're massive. Hence why the market is so excited about it. I just wanted to put this video out just as a warning to proceed with caution and make sure that everything you're doing is calculated. You are calculating your risk. You are taking into consideration the downside. And if you do those things, you will thrive in the coming months. Let me know if you agree in the comment section down below. And also please comment below which projects you think are outliers in this sea of 100,000 different coins that are gonna be launched on block 840,000. Anyways, that's all the time I have for today. I just wanted to do a quick video just to express my feelings. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing in the ordinal space, which projects I'm investing in and how I'm handling my trades, then please hop into the discord. It is free to join. It is free to use. And we are a, a thriving community that's willing to help not only in the ordinal space, not only with runes, but with all things Bitcoin and all things crypto as well. So we hope to see you in the discord. And until next time, please trade safe. It is a jungle out there. Peace.